Listen, last month, Fox News announced that they got rid of their white supremacist poster child, Tucker Carlson, who hosted the popular show, Tucker Carlson Tonight. And the network, which believes the former host had finally gone too far with his racist antics, needs to be called out. For the last seven years, Fox gave Carlson a platform to incite violence against people of color and marginalized communities on a regular basis. He pushed white replacement theory, called Black Lives Matter a terrorist organization, declared white supremacy a hoax. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. Said immigrants made America dirtier and poorer. Instead, our leaders demand that you shut up and accept this. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. And made fun of efforts to combat COVID-19. But all of a sudden, Carlson's newly leaked racist and violent text messages were somehow the final straw? In April, Fox settled a defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems for a historic $787.5 million. Dominion claimed that Fox made false statements about the role the company played in the 2020 presidential election. And as part of the lawsuit, Carlson's private text messages were made public and showed his blatant hypocrisy regarding former President Donald Trump. Though he spent years propping up Trump on air, Carlson sent the messages that he passionately hated him and called Trump a demonic force as well as a destroyer. Carlson also stated in the text that Fox was lying about the 2020 election being stolen and that these fabrications could destroy the network's credibility with their audience. In addition to lawsuits that are piling up against Carlson because of his dishonesty, more of his texts have come to light that are way more damning and may have been the final straw for Fox. In a 2021 exchange with one of his producers, Carlson described himself watching a video of Trump supporters assaulting someone he called an Antifa kid. A group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living shit out of him. It was three against one at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. Yet suddenly I found myself rooting for the mob against the man, hoping they hit him harder, kill him. I really wanted them to hurt the kid. I could taste it. Hey Fox, if it talks like a white nationalist and walks like a white nationalist, then it's a white nationalist. Pulling the plug on Carlson now doesn't undo the damage his racist rhetoric has already done. And sadly, the network will find another bigot to take his place. If the Dominion lawsuit taught us anything, is that you have to hit folks where it hurts, which in this case is their pockets, for change to occur. What do you think about Tucker Carlson getting canned? Comment below and visit theroot.com for more info.